Okay, nice, strong, steady kick straight from the hips. That's good. Okay, let's look at your head position a little bit. Tilt your head back a little bit more, looking at the ceiling so your head's in streamline here. Okay, let's look at your hand entry. Nice job. It looks like the pinky entry so you can grab that water. Okay, make sure you get that feet shoulder width apart on the wall. Nice job finishing all the way past your hips. A little bit more body rotation so you can get that reach so you have more distance per stroke here. Okay, right here you're looking up and then sideways. Okay, you should know how many strokes it takes from the flags to get to the wall. That's what they're for. So you want to finish on your back, not on your side for the back stroke. Let's check out your underwater video. Nice job. Okay, check out your head position here. It's too high. Okay, and you need to put it in streamlined position. So it has to be in line with your spine here. Right now you're creating gray because your position is so high. Nice job with the kicks to the surface of the water. Right now you can kind of see your head's a little high in the water. So we need you to be streamlined while you're swimming. Your head being too far up is causing your hips to drop and that way your legs aren't going to come out of the water and be as productive. Nice job with your body rotation. <coughs> Make sure you're using that last stroke to pull your body in on that turn. Right here you're taking your last stroke and then you're gliding into the wall before you start flipping. That last stroke is going to bring you into your turn. As I mentioned before, watch your head position. Got to get your head back a little bit farther down. Okay. You're doing a great job bending your elbow, but make sure you're using that forearm to push the water past your hips and now down at the bottom of the pool. Okay, you have a nice, strong, steady kick, but as soon as you get your hips up and head back, going to be more productive and you're going to move the through the water faster. Nice job. Let's check out your above water video.